the highest this team has ever finished in defensive efficiency. What do you think has just, you know, led to you guys, I guess, steadily improving on defense and, and that high ranking this year? Uh, I think a lot of it is uh, everybody just playing hard, uh, believing in one another and helping each other on the defensive end. How much has Willie just emphasized, you know, getting stops on a day in and day out basis? Uh, I mean, he preaches it all the time and I, I think it's a part of basketball, so uh, the guys get it. Um, but coach really talks about getting stopped to, you know, help our offense flow better because it's it's harder to stop teams, you know, when they're in transition uh, rather than when we having to take the ball out every possession because they're scoring. People on the outside, I mean, I think nobody would have predicted you guys would have finished this high in defense. I mean, like internally, did you guys think you guys had this in you coming into this year? Yeah, always. I mean, we don't really pay attention to the the outside noise. Um, we just show up and continue to work every day, watch film, and try to get better each day. You guys have also really defended the three-point line. Well. Um, what, what do you think has allowed you guys to be uh, so efficient on that end? I think that just goes back to the playing super hard. Um, it's easy to, you know, close kind of short and get a, a, a hand up, um, but it takes the extra effort to go out and, uh, you know, try to defend the three-point line well, and I think that's what we're doing. You're uh, 78 games now into your second season. What do you think are some of the areas where you've made the biggest jump or maybe just the way that areas that you feel the most comfortable, like having the experience now compared to your rookie year? Uh, the biggest jump, I think, for me this year, uh, is just staying mentally locked in uh, through the ups and downs um, and staying with my routine, not, not getting you know, too high or too low based on what was going on. I just kind of tried to stay even keel and, and continue to work. There have been some crazy swings in the season for you guys. Has that been difficult to do? I mean, somewhat, but, you know, we can only control what we can. Um, and I think we've been doing a, a pretty good job of controlling the controllables and, and showing up to work every day. What do you think you made the most growth on the, like, on the defensive side? Obviously, we know how, how great the gross growth on the defensive side. Larry was talking yesterday about the off-ball stuff that, that has, has really gone up a notch for you. Do you. Have you seen that this year where, like, all right, look, I know we can stick you on a guy and he, he's not going to score, but doing the off-ball stuff and, and, and things like that. Um, I mean, I feel like I was pretty good. Uh, right. Like, over there. As a it seems like it defender. went from, from, like, pretty good to, like, okay, like, it took another jump is what he was saying. I really don't have an answer for you, you on that one. All right. Uh, I mean, I, I always tried to not be one-dimensional. Like, I wouldn't want to be a guy that they only put in to guard one person and not be able to guard somebody off the ball. Like, I would just want to be out there, you know, play basketball, play defense. Uh, so wherever they put me on defense, I just try to find ways to help. From a team standpoint, do you think that there's anything that you can take away from last season as far as, you know, there were some ups and downs, but then at the end of the season, you guys were able to get hot and get into the, the playoffs. you think there's anything that you guys took away from last season as far as the experience of just dealing with adversity that you've carried over to this year and kind of done the same thing? Yeah, just continue to work, uh, not getting too bogged down. Uh, when things, I wouldn't say start to go south, but start to decline a little bit. Uh, you, don't, you don't win as much. Um, but you just continue to work and know that you're going to dig yourself out of the hole. You guys haven't been able, haven't played Darren Fox this year. Just what kind of challenges does he present? Um, especially as he's, he's grown a little bit in these last two years. Yeah, all-star caliber guard, man. He, he can score to all three levels super quick, um, high IQ. And so he's going to be a handful, but uh, I think we'll be ready. Um, as long as we show up and play super hard, we, I, th I feel like we'll be ready. And a big part of Sacramento's success in offense is Fox and Sabonis in the dribble handoff game. Just what makes that dribble handoff action, you know, difficult for a defense to stop, do you think? And they have two really elite players in that dribble handoff, so I think it, it would be difficult to stop uh, just because, you know, he can get down here and Sabonis can, can finish around the rim as well. Um, so we would just have to, you know, execute the game plan at a high level, uh, try not to have too many mistakes. And like I said, I think a lot of the, what I'm kind of alluding to is just playing super hard. Thank you. Thank you.